Kia ora. Hi everyone. Hey, welcome to July's Earth Prediction Series using the Psy Cards created by Carl Jung. So I now know how to pronounce his name thanks to one of my viewers and your helpful tips on his surname. Let's see what collective conscious energies are going to arrive for July. As it turns out, June was far more um, active than I had anticipated. And in fact, we're still in June as I do this reading because I am away in Australia for a lot of July, and especially the beginning part of July. So we'll shuffle these cards with that connection and see what's ahead. July 2016. The home, the mother, she's back again. And I think we really needed to reevaluate the mother and um, what that meant the skills, the libido. The fall and the tower back again. Okay, I don't like the libido and the fall together. Um, they're both quite surging energies. Let's just start at the far left with the home. So I have previously often considered that card to relate to areas of the globe where I live because I'm doing the reading. Now most of you will know I am from New Zealand in the South Pacific and it encompasses areas I think of New Zealand, Australia and all of the um, Pacific Islands thereabouts such as Fiji, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, the Cook Islands, Tonga, Samoa, Nui. Now in reference to the fact that there is a fire burning in the picture it can also reference fires and that can also reference houses or buildings Thinking at the moment up in the um, west coast of America, there's a lot of big fires burning up there. Um, we also see a cat in in the picture by the beneath the hearth by the fire, and I think of animals. Now we have quite a f uh, there's another reference to animals over here. Literally now every month, if you dig deep enough, it, they're often not reported in mainstream news but we see mass animal die-offs every month so something on the planet is occurring that's creating this whether it's pollution of our waterways especially for our aquatic animals um, you know no oxygen in the water so toxic water or whether we see mass bird die-offs sometimes there's something on the planet that is altering the ability for our natural life to thrive and live well. So July might have a little bit more of that for us to either um, experience or see or note. Now we come back to the mother card. Um, when she turned up in June I said we often think of her as associated being the mother and the children scenario. So sometimes incidents can happen at a global level where families are indicted one way or another, or um, children and parents, or mothers and children, uh, there's a loss there that goes on. We also think of mother as being Mother Earth, so Earth herself, so some sort of fractious energy or implications about Earth. The other thing we can think of from the Mother card is the nurturing aspect, and that the Mother is in the greatest connection, love. So this can be this uh, energy of love somehow uh, outpouring. Now we saw that with the Orlando shootings in June, how we had a global outpouring and connection of love at the loss of families that were torn asunder or when that mass murder happened. So there, I think there are some, were some other suggestions for the mother card that came through as well, which were also really good. The skills card I see as being a symbol of fighting because that's a bow and arrow. So we think of combat increasing one way or another. So whether this is terrorist combat or actually actual military combat is either possibility. Um, sometimes it means hand, hand to hand combat. So um, forces or f fleets of military going down onto a place to actually physically land and 
increase their physical combat power when they're fighting at a ground level. So that's a possibility to see an increase in July. I also think with the skills we see those two arrows in the ground so I have always thought of things falling down like coming down out of the sky. So this can be many different perspectives such as missiles. Well in June North Korea offloaded two or three missiles within hours of each other which had brought the total offloading of missiles to six for this year alone. So whether or not North Korea does some more missile attempts or it can be other space related things such as other missiles from other countries being um, set off and set into space. It can be technological space um, rockets being set off as well. It can also be things coming down from from the sky. So it can be comets or asteroids or meteorites, that type of thing. So there could be an increase there or we could see some interesting or unusual ones or there might be one uh, comet or something that is a trajectory for July that is coming. It can also mean other things coming down from the sky as well, such as um, possibly planes and things like that. So we move to the libido card where we've talked briefly about the mass animal implications of that card and the other thing we know is that libido is powerful brute force so it's sudden energetic release of something and we see the rushing water in the background so it's often associated with rapid flooding and inland tsunamis that type of energy and power and force so sometimes this can be the accumulation of incredible storm cells forming and wreaking havoc mudslides and events like that can occur as well. Now given that it's next to the full card, the full card sees the picture in the background of a house teetering on the edge of a cliff about to um, fall. So we come back to this issue of buildings and houses and mudslides and cliffs and edges and movement. The fall has always to me given the feeling of earthquakes and um, they can be quite big quakes so you may even see some some around the 7 mark which we haven't had many of or even slightly higher for July. Um, and these two together could be associated one way or another so some sort of quite quick sudden movement or um, explosive energy combined that create a lot of um, movement, either quake related or storm related. Or even um, the fall could be going off in this new direction. It could be even resembling the Brexit issue, the political issues going on globally at the moment, which are also very, very, um, very strong on the planet. So there's a lot of energy around the politics and finances and, and this new paradigm that we're shifting into. This tower card at the bottom, I often think of Europe or parts of where the older parts on the globe where you'll get buildings like that, such as castles and things. That tower card in this particular deck was assigned the energy of being a fool, <laughs> like this one, of be having folly, a feeling supreme and on top of things but having no real protection. That's what this tower card actually symbolises in the deck. So there's a degree of arrogance with the card and um, lack of foresight or lack of being able to think ahead and plan things out or see what's coming. So the tower card in this deck Un, and not dissimilar to any tarot deck doesn't necessarily bode particularly well it has a degree of arrogance and foolishness but I often see it as being um, linked to the fact that this building is sitting on higher ground so that it feels as if floodwaters are coming up underneath it so again we're thinking of possible floods through that older part of the globe that buildings are being affected um, that there is shaking and movement with buildings one way or another. So there we are guys, quite an interesting moving looking month for July. It feels as if things are either unstable or there's a lot of movement. And again, as I say, this could be at political levels, at country levels, at um, 
financial levels, all sorts of things going on. So hey, I really love all your comments that you are leaving and all your interpretations of the cards as well. Keep it up, great work guys. So have a really good July ahead, be safe everyone and be happy. Ka kite noa, much aroha, namaste.